Mamba and Stammy who have been com doing the commentary all throughout yesterday and today. And first up, I'm going to ask you how's the experience been so far? It's probably one of the finest land events I've ever been to because of the, the back end team, right? And what happens is when we are casting, right? well, the problem is that we are not afraid and if there's a ta technical time or a tactical time. But we are on the team food right now, so if, if, even if there is a small issue, right? So we get both, we get the update real time, we have the screen in front of us, so we get all the real, real time updates. So and actually, I really want to give a shout out to all of you guys who have been working in the back end. That it is one of the finest events I've ever been to. I'm basically flabbergasted about everything that's happening right here because India is a fully new country to me. I've never been here before. Everyone is, is so friendly. Everyone is. is Everyone even knows me. It's very, it's very nice experience to see the people want to take pictures and interviews and stuff like that. But coming back to the event, everything's been sorted. We have very nice sponsors. We have a very nice, as you said, bag of team and nice admins. And everything is perfectly going back. Okay, and talking about like doing this in India and how you said like it's very refreshing and everyone's been really friendly. And this concept is fairly new to India. And uh, I'm sure you've been to other tournaments as well. And could you tell the difference what it's been? Do you feel people are warming up to this and there's a bit more popularity that it's, it's gaining, the, the whole gaming concept? Popularity, the, the main thing that I really liked about IES is that we actually had people going to you know, players' houses and that was on Facebook and it actually gives me goosebumps because I know the struggle, right? We've all been through that. So what happens is that the parents, they don't, okay, it's fine they don't realize it, it wasn't around in their time. Uh, the thing is, the IEC guys have been working so hard, they have been there to the places, they have been conducting workshops as well for the sports. So they are trying to educate people on what eSports actually is. And people need to realize that you know, any sport which has a good audience is going to bring in money as well. I find it very nice to see that the Indian people are trying everything they can just to make everything work. They are working so hard and it's very nice to see. Because in Holland gaming is already very big and we have pro players being paid and stuff like that. And in, in here it's just like everyone is, is, they don't need money, they only want to make fun, they want to, they, they love the games that they play, uh, they have nice teammates, everyone's laughing, everyone's joking, and that's the best thing about gaming. Uh, so what I want to ask is, uh, you've seen a lot of good matches here so far, but which one's been your favourite? I'd actually say, well, if it was, if you're talking about the intensity, the last match, which I was saying, intensity was really nice. And one of the matches, it was a really dominant performance from Gunpoint as well. The, the second last match we said, the, the second last match we seen. But the second half was really interesting because GMD was completely dominant. They didn't give the series like, even a single round. That is something that was very, very impressive to, you know, to see. I've seen GMD play yesterday. Uh, after they were very dominant at the start, they were being overtaken for a very, very long time. And in the end, JMD came back very, very strongly. And that's one thing I really like to see, because we saw Vanity from Vitality. He had zero kills after like 12 rounds. He was, he was nowhere. And all of a sudden, he stood up, being the big man that he is. Being the top fragment at the end, that just gained so much respect. And I think that's my favorite match so far. Another question for you. Since uh, I'm sure you've done a lot of other international tournaments, how do you think that? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'm sure you've done a fair number of other tournaments there, but how, how do you think the Indian teams rank up against the other international teams? They are very, very good. Like, if you watch the top tier teams like Fnatic and NIP, teams like that, they have multi-million dollar contracts, and they are supposed to be good, because if you earn so much money, it's like the same with football, people are expecting something from you. And in India, it's, it's, as I said, it's not about money. They just want to be the best at what they do. So I think a team like Vitelli, or we've seen enemy play very, very strong, a team like that could be in the semi top record set. Yeah. That's definitely really encouraging for all the teams here in India. And uh, do you guys have any favorites for the tournament now? Favorites for the tournament right now, we have Vitelli, we have Destructive 5 as well. But before we sign off, I actually want to give a shout out to a few people. The first plug, the first, I mean, the IEAC guys, right? They have been doing a fabulous, fabulous job. We have Dracula as well. Um, the back, the back end team. Because I, I, I've really fallen in love with the back end team. They've been working so hard on the servers. All of you guys, I guess you haven't slept as well for a long, long time. I don't know. Us MCs get enough sleep. <laughs> because, because the back end guys, they didn't sleep for 36 hours straight. So a shout out to IESE, a shout out to Neon Gaming, and a huge shout out to Dracula as well. Yeah, mainly everything he said. I mean, the, the cast here. Everyone's wearing these very nice jerseys. If you got questions, you can look. You can go up to anyone. Uh, they're all connected together. Everything's. It's, it's like almost, it's like perfect and I'm, I'm not really used to that because 
it's such a big tournament. You expect things to go wrong, but everything's right. You got the guys from from PlayStation who are handing out wristbands, playing FIFA with everyone, having fun. We've got Counter Strike 1.6, and the, the difference with my country is, if a game gets old, people will forget about it and they will move on to the next game. But here it's like we like 1.6. We want to be at this tournament, so here they are. They're, they're, they are here. So that's 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 cool. That's cool. But definitely, definitely. I'm glad you guys have had a great experience here. Uh, is there anything else you want to add? Get set, game!